Okay, welcome. So if I want to find the measure of one interior angle, angle, how am I going to go about to do that? And you know, how does that kind of make sense? Um, now the main important thing to find one interior angle, this is all going to be a, based off a regular polygon. So again, we got to make sure that our polygon that we're going to be working with is going to be regular. That means all the sides are exactly the same, as well as all the angles are going to be exactly the same measurement. So let's just go ahead and take a look at one. And I'm just going to um, deal with a very basic. Let's deal with this quadrilateral. Okay? And this quadrilateral is going to be special in the fact that it is going to be a rectangle. And that is not regular. That is just a rectangle. So let's deal with something that's going to be regular. How about a square? That sounds good. OK. Now, if I want to find the measure of all the of just one interior angle, I'm using a problem that's going to be familiar with you because obviously I have other examples of ones that are not so familiar. Um, but again, what we want to do when we're trying to find the measure of one interior angle, what we're trying to look at is think about this. So let's say we just want to find the measure of one interior angle. Well, to do that, we notice that there are four of them, right? One, two, three, four. And the number of angles is exactly the same as the number of sides, right? And we're going to give a variable for that. n equals the number of sides. All right. So n is going to tell us what is the number of sides. And the number of sides is the exact same as the number of angles. Now, if you think about this, if I could figure out what the sum is of all of these angles, and then divide it equally between these angles, because remember, all the angles are exactly the same. So if I can figure out what the sum is of all of these angles, and then divide it by how many angles I have or how many sides I have, that will give me the measure of just one interior angle. Yes. So therefore, I need to go back and understand, all right, well, how do I find the sum of all the interior angles? So my individual angle is equal to the sum of interior angles divided by the number of sides, or if you want to think of it, the number of angles. It's the exact same number. And a quadrilateral has four sides, four angles. A triangle has four sides, four angles. A uh, octagon has eight sides, eight angles. So it's the same thing. So I need to find the sum of the interior angles and the number of sides. So therefore, our formula, which if you want to go back and go through the formula for the sum of interior angles, the sum of interior angles is going to be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. All right, That was how we found the sum of my interior angles. And then to find the individual angle, I'm just going to have to divide it by n. Now remember, n represents the number of sides or number of angles. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we determine the measure of one interior angle. Thanks.